like, you know, I learned from Saving Private Ryan, if you want to take out the tank, you know, you, you put your little your bomb, you put it there and it blows out the tracks and without tracks it can't move. That's how you do it. I, I mean in Minecraft, I don't want anyone to blow up any any diggers, but that that is it. That is literally it. It's such a new digger, he's not even taking the plastic sheeting off his seat. But there you go. Now, my question is, why is there the exact same burst pipe in Walkden? And anyway, say hi, Aaron. Say hi. Hi, everybody. What are they watching? Uh, the Charlie Beach Show. Good man. Okay, good morning. Saturday again. Sometimes it feels like a permanent weekend. We've got the police recruitment, of course. But interestingly, it feels like... What's going on here? I could be wrong, but I think I've spotted my first ever security guard impersonator. This man is clever. He knows not to break the law by impersonating a policeman. He impersonates... Where is he? He impersonates the security guard. Look at that. He's got a massive badge on the back that says security as well. And uh, I don't see any security industry accreditation license. No SIA badge. I think he's a live action role player. Check this out. We've got sexy Sergio on the saxophone. And you've got a young couple getting busted here. Just out of curiosity, I'm doing a video. How much was the fine? How much is it? 120. Why were you dropping litter on the floor? These are pouches. So if you know where near it, look at that. Look at that. You even get a demonstration. Go on, give him a ticket. He can afford it. Mr. Dar, Mr. Dar needs a ticket. Or is he obeying? Is he being good? Oh, he's being good. Oh, he's disabled. Or something. <laughs> hey, we're here in Albert Square, which is, I guess, Manchester's version of Trafalgar Square, with the town hall that's got the permanent scaffolding. You know, imagine you're a tourist. You, you come to Manchester, main buildings. No, completely censored. Not allowed. Enjoy the uh, peace barriers for the uh, peaceful car ramming attack. Favorite pub for Japanese tourists, especially the imperial ones. And across here we have the old nag's head, which uh, in celebration of the upcoming coronation of King Charles III will be renamed the Queen Consort. Illuminati Glastonbury Festival 2022 public parking symbol. I'm in a wide open space. I'm standing. You'll never get to heaven with a smile on your face with me. Photographer walking ahead. People dress like this. Is it a wedding? Probably. I like the old fashioned suits. I do. And I like the shoes. Brilliant. So, Ebony, sorry, Ebony 61. Is that what you say? Ebony, which means black, and it, yeah, it's a black car. Ah, look at that. Imagine parking here, leaving your handbag there for the. Look at that. You can actually see. Every, the crackheads are going to get that if the council don't get it first. There's our hero of the hour. Although he could have, he could have, um, there, there he is. He's the one that let off that Lamborghini outside the Stock Exchange Hotel. But he, if he saw a poor, a poor little Audi A1, give it a ticket. Extended, oh my God, Porsche limousine. That is maybe the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love that if you shop in H&M, uh, because all the staff forget to get the emergency, sorry, the security tags off, you have to suffer the indignity of standing there as a security guard goes through your belongings. Once you've paid for them, they are yours. But you have to then suffer the indignity of waiting whilst they check that you're not a thief. I'd rather shop somewhere else, actually, to be honest. Now that is a tracksuit. Oh. My. God. Each to their own. So, taste challenge. Look. Yeah. 
Hello, mate, you okay? The famous taste challenge, Coke versus Pepsi. But is it full fat Coke versus Pepsi Max? Pepsi Max, generic cola. Oh, ge generic cola. Generic cola. Gener I understand, yeah. okay, well said. Down behind Piccadilly Gardens, you have the piss zone. You guys are wrong. The world hasn't ended in all those days. People who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses aren't all going to burn and die. More than 144,000 people are going to make it and stop refusing blood transfusions, you crazy, crazy cult. Goodbye. The freedom for the Iranians. If you don't know, a young lady got beaten up and murdered by the police in Iran for not wearing a headscarf and they're here to protest against the Iranian government. Okay, finally, some action. They're walking with intent. They were walking up, now they're walking down. They've had the radio call. So let's see what it is. Yeah, I think we're on the home run now. Oh, it's okay. They all know me. It's, I'm well known, so it's okay. Your colleagues. That's my, my name's Charlie Beach, if you tell them Charlie Beach is okay. I'm with them. not with them, but they know, they know. Thanks, man. Cheers, dude. Hey, man. Oh, it's, uh, that's the famous shoplifter. He's, uh, he's actually banned from the entire city centre and he's here. And he's probably been caught stealing. I say probably because we don't know. Just so you guys know, he got a bit physical. He got a bit physical with the cop and the cop grabbed him and pushed him against the wall. Which is what he deserved because he was getting physical, physical. Who can lip read? Can you lip read? Put your belt back on, get the belt back on. Oh, that's it. Zip it all up and you're good. Oh, it's a, it's a pose for a photograph situation. Oh! He's gonna, I have a feeling he's gonna spit at a police officer and he's gonna get hogtied and hooded. Or maybe he knows better than to try that. Whoa, that got in my face. That's another charge for him. It got in my eyeballs. That got in my eyeballs. I've got that on video officers as well.
So for the viewers, I, I don't think you've missed that, but he spat directly into my face, into my eyes. Luckily, my mouth was closed, but my eyes... You're going to get what you deserve for spitting at people. Uh, I don't think you're in any position to say that. Police are doing this to make sure he doesn't spit at anyone else. What a horrible creature. What? Good work, Sergeant. Good work. Sergeant, he spat right in my face, just so you know. Sorry, mate. Put it away, don't be in it. Don't bite me off of the fucking wall. Yeah, you fucking bait bastard. Don't you dare. Don't spit. Bend my spitting. head. Bend my head off Stop the wall. Spitting. You fucking asshole. Stop spitting this Who gives you, you the right to bend my head off the wall? Shut up. Shut up. So what? This people. The man is spitting at people, so he's getting what he deserves, man. He's been spitting in people's faces. Do us a favour, mate. Can you just move away? Yeah. Do you actually instigate? You've actually wiped him off. Says you, you dickhead. Stop biting the head off the wall. Smash your head off the wall. And he's off. He's off. That's well, the reveal of the van. Where's the reveal? Reveal of the van. Any second now, he's gonna. Uh, there he is. And another good job. Well done. <laughs>